Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In this video, I'm going to show you how to allow users to select a date range or multiple dates in a date picker field with the WP Forms plugin. When you allow for multiple bookings in one form, you may need to give your visitors the ability to select a range of dates or multiple dates. By default, only a single date can be selected with the date field, but this tutorial will show you how to use PHP to provide a date range or multiple date selections for your site's forms. But before we begin, please keep in mind that this tutorial will involve using PHP and is intended for developers or advanced users who are already comfortable with adding custom code. If you'd like to learn more about adding custom code to your site, we recommend checking out WP Beginner's excellent guide to adding custom code to your site, which you can find a link to in the description below. Without further ado, let's dive right in. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install two plugins. WP Forms and the Code Snippets plugin. Click on the Add New button and we'll first search for the Code Snippets plugin. Install and activate the plugin, and when you're done, we'll install WP Forms next. After WP Forms is activated, you'll need to verify your copy by entering the license key in the settings page of WP Forms. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can head over to the form builder by clicking on the Add New tab on the left. WP Forms comes with lots of different templates to get you started as quickly as possible, or you can start completely from scratch if you want. For this tutorial, let's start with the simple contact form template as a base, and we'll add in the date field ourselves. You can customize the template in whatever way you'd like, whether that be by adding in new fields by clicking and dragging them from the left over to the right, rearranging the order of the existing fields, or deleting fields entirely by hovering over them and clicking on the red trash can icon when it appears. We're going to add a date field by clicking and dragging it into our form. When you're done making your changes, click on the Save button on the top right corner and then head back to your dashboard. Open a new tab and you'll want to go to wpforms.com forward slash developers because we're going to look up and copy a code snippet from one of our developer docs to paste into our site. As you can see, we have tons of different developer docs available, ranging from tutorials, code snippets, actions, and more. In the search bar, type in date range and select the first article, how to allow date range or multiple dates in date picker. You can also find the direct link to the page in the description below. As you scroll down, you're going to see two code snippets, one to allow users to select a date range and another to allow users to select multiple dates. Depending on which option you're going for, copy the code, and we're then going to head back to our WordPress dashboard. From there, go to the Code Snippets tab on the left and click on the Add New option. Normally, you'd need to add code snippets to your site's functions PHP file, but the Snippets plugin allows you to add this code to your site without the risk of potentially breaking your site. Add a title for your custom snippet. I'm going to call it Date Range and then paste the code snippet into the code box. You can then change the scope of the snippet, in other words, where the snippet will run, whether that be only in the WordPress admin area, on the front end of your site, or everywhere. If you're not sure, just leave the default Run Snippet Everywhere option checked. You can then create a description and tags for your snippet if you'd like. When you're done, click Save Changes and Activate. Now if we preview our form, you'll be able to select from a range of dates in the calendar widget. If you'd like to allow users to select multiple dates, you'll repeat the same process. Copy the code, create a new snippet, save and activate. Just keep in mind that the calendar widget can only process one snippet, so you won't be able to both select a date range and select multiple non-consecutive dates at the same time. On the All Snippets page, you'll be able to easily toggle code snippets on or off depending on which one you'd like to use. And that's it. You now know how to allow users to select either a date range or multiple dates in the date picker field. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.